Welcome to the NatFL channel. One name that is starting to gain some support throughout Miami Dolphins Twitter is former Florida Gators tight end Kyle Pitts and for a good reason. Pitts dominated at Florida and is, without question, the best tight end in the 2021 NFL Draft. Here is a scouting report and breakdown of Kyle Pitts' strengths and weaknesses and potential fit with the Dolphins. Strengths, I want to start out by saying that Kyle Pitts is the best tight end I have ever scouted. In all my years of watching college football players, I have never seen a talent like Pitts. He is absolutely incredible and arguably one of the greatest all-around players I have ever watched. When he is on the field, you always think he will make a big play, which is exactly what Pitts does, he makes big plays. He is a mismatch nightmare, and honestly, sometimes having two or even three guys on him will not matter. He can do it all. He dominated legit SEC corners 1v1, and if you had a safety or a linebacker on him, good luck. No one on the field could cover him. When the ball is snapped, his burst is impressive and it really helps him set up defenders. He is an elite route runner at the position, and someone of his size shouldn't be able to move as well as he does. You can use him as a chess piece, lining him up outside as a wide receiver, inline as a tight end, in the slot as an H-back, or even in the backfield. Offensive coordinators will sleep easier at night knowing they have pits to bail them out. He showed the ability to run deep, catch short passes, catch screens, dominate on RPOs, and be a terror on intermediate routes. There isn't anything Pitts can't do as a root runner. He is also a willing and able blocker. He will never be confused as the best blocker on the team, but he will get after it and give you an A-plus effort in the run game. To wrap this all up, Pitts has excellent hands too. He doesn't drop the ball. He is the complete package at tight end. Weaknesses A popular knock on Pitts' game is his blocking ability, but I feel this is a lazy assessment and a recycled take from people who did not actually watch his film. Pitts got after it in 2020 as a blocker, and yes, at times in 2019, he was not the best blocker, but after his dominant 2020 season, I do not see it as a real issue. It is worth noting that he may never block as well as George Kittle and Rob Gronkowski, but that is okay. Fit with the Dolphins, the Dolphins should target a tight end early in the 2021 NFL Draft, and Pitts is the grand prize of them all. Having a player like Pitts on your offense allows you to do so much more. Pairing him with Mike Jasicki would give the Dolphins elite two tight end sets and help starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. If the Dolphins could only take one player in the 2021 NFL Draft, I would hope they could get Pitts. He is the best player in this draft class and would be one of the best draft picks the Miami Dolphins have ever made. Pitts will be an all-pro in his career, and the Dolphins should strongly consider taking him.